Hey guys, how are you? I'm sure you guys are doing great. So guys, uh, today in this video, I'm going to share 12 options which can speed up your computer or maybe a laptop. If you have a speed issue with your system, definitely you can use these options to speed up your computer. So to know all the uh, 12 options, watch this video till end. My name is Manjit Singh. You are watching your own channel Tech Guru Majit. So the first option is to uh, disable the startup application. So sometimes uh, we don't use some applications and uh, uh, when we boot our system, it automatically run that applications in the background. But we are not using that particular application. So in case you are not using that application, you can disable that. To disable startup applications, right click on taskbar. Now click on the task manager. Now click on the startup option. You can see list of application which are as of now running. And these are the application whenever you start your computer, these all applications start running in the behind. So if you don't want any application, you don't use that. Just right click on that and click on the disable option. Second option is to disable the OneDrive. So basically OneDrive uh, is a good option I would say because it will you know it uh, automatically sync your uh, data from computer to cloud. Uh, so in case you have any issue with your uh, local computer you can uh, you know purchase a new one or you can download your entire data from that cloud platform. But in case you are not using that so of course you can disable by disabling uh, you can speed up your computer because all the time whatever you are doing with your uh, database or maybe a files so it will automatically you know sync uh, starts between the cloud and your computer at the behind so definitely if you disable the behind the process will stop and your computer might speed up to disable one drive right click on the task menu and click on the task manager Go to startup option. Here you can see Microsoft OneDrive. You can just right click here and click on the disable option. Third option is to disable Windows updates. Sometimes our systems keep on updating each and every time and very frequently. So in case it is taking longer time or uh, it is you know updating very frequently, you can disable this Windows update options. But I would recommend to uh, you know update once or twice in a month manually uh, so that you can uh, you know you can save your internet data as well as the behind process will be stopped of course your system will be uh, you know faster to disable windows update you can uh, press windows and r on your keyboard right here services dot msc hit enter you can see the pop-up will appear just scroll down to bottom here you will find windows update uh, windows update windows update here something you can see here it is windows up update as of now it is disabled if you find this is running so double click on that so select the disable and stop that application apply ok Next option is to disable the notifications. Sometimes we are uh, working on some very important files or maybe we are on uh, in meeting uh, on the video calls. Uh, in, during that, uh, there are a lot of pop-ups, you know, uh, keep on uh, uh, appearing. So which will, of course, uh, use the uh, CPU, RAM. Uh, so by disabling this feature, you can increase your speed. To disable notification, right click on that Windows icon go to settings click on the system here you will find the notification and actions click on that disable all the options available here next option is disk cleanup so basically disk cleanup is a feature which can you know uh, automatically delete your temporary files when we are working on a lot of files or maybe our system browsing or whatever we are doing it will keep on creating a temporary files in our systems uh, by enabling this feature, it will automatically delete the temporary files or maybe the files which you are not using for a longer time. It will automatically detect that and delete those files. To enable auto disk cleanup, just right click on that windows icon. Go to setting. Click on the system. Click on storage. 
here you can see the storage sense windows can automatically free up space by uh, getting rid of uh, temporary files which you don't need so you can uh, on this automatically it will detect the files which are in the temporary folders or as a temporary files or maybe the files which you are not using uh, and it is there in the temporary uh, section so it will automatically uh, clean your disk so next option is to free space on a c drive so why it is important to free space on a c drive because our operating system is installed on a c drive and if you uh, keep on adding data on desktop or maybe my document or download anything and keep always on the uh, download folder of course it will decrease the size of a c drive whenever you open any application that particular application needs space to run that uh, of course that the space is limited the limited space can you know slow your computer and uh, that application will take more time to open or maybe take a more time to take any action whatever you are task performing so it is important to free space on your c drive to free uh, space on your c drive as you can see uh, my c drive and the f drive has a red mark on this so which means the very limited space is available on c drive and uh, f drive so if you need to uh, add some more space into it so what you can do you can uh, delete the files which are available in the downloads you can see there are a lot of files available in the download section so delete all this, uh, these files or if you need these files you can shift that to some other drive or you can uh, go to uh, window uh, videos so if you don't need these videos you can delete that and uh, uh, remove that uh, files from your desktop to some other desk uh, other drive next option is to remove unwanted software sometime uh, when we buy a computer there are a lot of applications installed by the vendor or maybe uh, some of our colleagues or you can say uh, we don't want that application so unnecessarily that those files are uh, those uh, our software or applications are you know occupying space on our c drive so definitely if we are not using those applications we can uh, remove those applications so of course it will uh, increase the speed or by giving us a more space on our C drive. To remove unwanted software, you can search for a control panel. Go to control panel. Now click on the program and feature. Here you will get the complete list of software which are installed as of now in your computer. The application or maybe the software which you are not using, just right click and press uninstall next option is clean managers so by using this feature uh, you can clean uh, the temporary files on particular drive and you can enhance and the uh, you can increase the speed of your computer to use clean manager press windows plus r on your com keyboard now here you have to write clean mgr and hit enter here you can select the drive which you need to uh, clean the disk so i am selecting c drive press ok so now you can see the list of uh, unwanted applications or the temporary files are available here whatever you want to delete just click uh, tick that particular option and press ok delete files next option is a prefetch so basically prefetch is a folder available in the uh, windows directory of course you can uh, remove the files in uh, which are generated into that folder so by doing that of course the space will get free on a c drive and your uh, computer speed will be increased to delete prefetch files just press window plus r on your keyboard and write prefetch just hit enter you can see all the files are available here which are temporary files you can use this command or you can directly go to my computer go to c drive windows and here you can find the prefetch folder open this folder and delete all select all files and hit delete so you can see all the files are deleted if you uh, see some files are not uh, deleting so you can skip easily next option is your percentage temp percentage by running this command by using this command you can uh, you know clean up uh, temporary files created on your system so definitely by cleaning that of course your system in speed will be increased to delete temporary files press window plus r on your keyboard 
देन राइट परसेंटेज टेम्प परसेंटेज हिट ओके नाउ यू कैन सी ऑल दी टेम्पररी फाइल्स विच आर एज ऑफ नाउ अनयूज इन योर कंप्यूटर सेलेक्ट प्रेस कंट्रोल विंडोज कंट्रोल ए टू सेलेक्ट ऑल फाइल्स एंड शिफ्ट डिलीट प्रेस यस इन केस यू सी दिस मैसेज so all the files of course cannot be uh, deleted at the all uh, time because your system is as of now running so uh, by just uh, tick this option and press click on the skip option next option is your recent command so basically by using this command you can uh, remove your recent used applications uh, files you can say from the temporary sections so which will help of course the increase uh, the speed uh, your computer to delete recent files press window plus r on your keyboard and then write recent hit enter so now you can see uh, all the files are used which are kept on the recent folder so you can delete uh, to free up your space on c drive but as of now i need all that so i am not do doing that but you can do it uh, if you don't need that so guys i hope you like all the 12 option which i have shown in this video so you can use these options and to speed up your computer if still after using this all 12 options your system is performing slow the end result is to replace your system because the hardware is not performing well with your operating system right if you like this video hit the like button if you are new to my channel press the subscribe button and don't forget to press bell icon so that every time i upload video you will get notified that's all for this video see you in the next video till then stay safe goodbye